Welcome back to the Make Me Lab, guys. We have a first look today at my new Dubai 225 millimeter racing quad. This quad was sent to me from gearbest.com. I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, it is going to be a speed demon. This is how the packaging arrived. I thought it worthy of showing because honestly, this is a huge fail. Uh, I did take a look because I wanted to see how much damage we had incurred, if any, and right off the hop, uh, this is not the way to ship components like this. Uh, pretty loosey-goosey, sorry gear bust, but you gotta do better than this. Inside though, we have some pretty awesome components. I'm really happy with this. Hopefully they're not damaged. Let's take a look. We'll go ahead and take things out and then we'll get a closer look at it. Speed controls, just loose in the box. Uh, here's what's left of the FPV antenna. We're good. I don't think it'll be... Eh, it shouldn't be damaged. It's got a pretty good kink, but I think it'll be alright. Nothing worse than a, than a crash. In here, we have camera, props, motors, and frame. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is the frame. This is labeled as the GEP ZX 6 inch 225 millimeter. This is pretty much the same as all the GE series frames as far as I can tell. This one specifically being a 225. This is the first time I've got a look at this. Assembly schematic pretty reasonable. Nothing too surprising there. Inside all the components packaged individually. I'm liking that. A good battery strap, the one with the rubber back. Not like a battery strap is a deal breaker, but hey, if you're going to send something, make it good. XT60, as well as a power distribution board. Let's take a look at this. Because this is one thing on their website, they don't explain what power distribution board you get. And this one, uh, nothing labeled on that side, but it looks like we have 5 volt and 12 volt regulation and GEPRC. So I don't have a model number on that, but I bet you we could look it up and see what if there's anything crazy we need to know. Pretty straightforward though. Nothing nothing too surprising here. No jumpers to set and it looks like no video throughput, so we don't plumb our video through here. Uh, I've been using the Maytech cards, the PDBs and I'm liking them. So I'm not sure I say we build it the way it came rest of the goodies in the box frame we want to know about the frame i love this heavy heavy duty i'll post all the specs on the different uh, dimensions of the frame rather than wasting time measuring the thicknesses here uh, these are thick wicked thick i'm thinking this is going to be awfully hard to break uh, one of the main reasons i picked out this frame uh, other than the awesome gear that comes with it. In the package, not much else to see here. Standard uh, metal hardware. Nice anodized aluminum though. That's maybe worth showing off. I like when things come anodized and when things come aluminum too. Extremely light. It weighs nothing in the hands. Spacer for between the frame chunks and some standoffs. These are actually aluminum standoffs. Uh, pretty cool. And then actually inside there are the nylon ones for the power distribution board. Standard stuff. I think that's pretty good. Even has some lasering and some engraving on here. Actually, let's take a look at that. That makes me wonder, is that lasered or is it engraved? That is actually engraved. Um, Wish they wouldn't do that. That's just gonna catch goop and stuff. I'm I'm all about branding, but yeah, I guess you gotta brand your stuff, right? Uh, the carbon fiber is perfect. I feel no burst, no nothing. It's actually clean too. My fingers aren't getting dirty from this, so they took it took a little bit of time and made it a nice nice little frame kit. I have nothing bad to say. Even comes with some sponges for feet, um, which won't do any good if we put our battery on the bottom. It eh, won't do much good. We'll see when it comes time to build it. I'll do a full build up video on this later. Inside here, 
pretty standard equipment. Another reason I picked this kit is because it comes with the SPF3 flight controller. This thing, tried and true, it will run, we can run 4K, 4K on this, no problem. It will just work. Has everything on board that I need. Awesome little flight control. Uh, step up from CC3D or the NAS boards. This is pretty much standard right now until the F4 comes along. Just just plain works. Love it. We'll put beta flight. Right now it'll be 3.0 beta flight. Might change in the near future, but 3.0 just came out. So major, major selling point of this kit. Awesome stuff. Emacs 2205, the RS2205 red bottoms. These are a 2300 kV brushless outrunner motor. You've seen them in my GB210 video. These things are the standard nowadays. These are the real ones. This is coming in the actual authentic packaging. They're not a repackaged, which is just a knockoff. These things are incredible, incredible motors. Tough as nails. Go like scared cats. Uh, just, they're worth every penny. And in this kit, they just they put the right things together hence the reason that this is on my bench right now speed controls these are the little b 30 amp speed controls these are a two to six cell lipo uh, with bl heli on board i have these exact ones on my 210 they work awesome they are a 30 amp so they're kind of top of the mark right now no problem with a 4 or a 5s and easy to program through the f3 flight control you put bl heli suite on your computer you're able to flash all of them tasty tidbit you don't need to worry about what direction you wire your motors because you can reverse them in the speed controls no problem through bl heli it's super super easy makes assembly a cinch and you'll see more of that on the channel here as we move along in here as well is the video transmitter. Now, I have no experience with this one, and I'm curious to see how it's going to work out. It did send the standard dipole that we won't use, but this is supposed to be a 600 milliwatt 40 channel standard video transmitter. Really small. This is the TS5828L. Very similar to the ones I'm used to. I use the ones with the remote SMA connection with a piece of coax going off, but I don't think there'll be any problem with this. This should be pretty good. Uh, classy looking little unit. Standard push button to switch channels with a display. I love, I just, I love the display. Also in the package. What else have we got? This is the FPV camera. Now, this is a wild card as well. This is touted as a thousand TV line camera uh, quite small and does look like it will mount to the carbon fiber through the standard board cam mount uh, I've never used one so let's see if there's anything in here on it there's not much noted on the website we did get a little bit of instruction <laughs> manual book uh, model number well multiple model numbers this is supposed to be the thousand TV line so it'll be this one, 640 by 480 resolution of 408. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't hold out a huge amount of hope for this, but it comes in this great package. So, heck, we got to give it a try, right? We'll see how it does. Also in the package, you get some props. These are the OC Day Genuine Replacement Parts. These are uh, a bull-nosed uh, three-blade, 5045 tri-blade. Uh, we'll definitely use them. Why not? We'll, we'll take our first flights with this and see how they work out. I, I don't anticipate any problems. Hey, they'll work. They might be crazy unbalanced. Who knows? We've got lots of other ones. We'll give them a try. So this is the makings of our 225 Dubai Series Racing Quad. I'm super excited about this. Gear Best, thank you for sending me this. I can't wait to do some flight videos. Once we get this assembled, I'll give it a full review. But like I said throughout the video, I can stand behind a lot of these components. It's just going to work. And the price is why I accepted this for review. I think what they're charging online on their website for this is totally reasonable for what you get and 
I highly doubt any of it will be uh, regrets. I, I think the camera and the video transmitter, a little bit of a wild card there. We'll see. But the rest, I see no issues. Can't wait to give this a try. Can't wait to do some more fast-paced, fun quad videos in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check it out. Uh, throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I love talking to you guys. I will see you next video. Cheers.